Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. The Bible tells us, according to Hebrews 2 verse 14, it says that through death, Jesus that is, he might destroy him who is Satan, who had the power of death, that is the devil, and release those through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. And it goes on to say also in Colossians 1.13, He has delivered us from the power of darkness and translated us into the kingdom of the Son of His love, in whom we have redemption through His blood and forgiveness of sin. And what about this? Colossians 2.15, it says, Having disarmed principalities and powers, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them in it. And according to 1 John 3.8, For this purpose the Son of God was manifest, that he might destroy the works of Satan. Let me tell you, we've got to learn to frustrate the kingdom of darkness. We've got to learn to frustrate every witch that might be living around us, near us, or across this earth. Let us pray right now, precious saints, and come against every power of the enemy today in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we come before you this day through the shed blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Not in our name do we come, not in our power do we come, not in our holiness, not even in our goodness, but we come in the name of your Son, Jesus. Christ, washed in his blood, robed in his righteousness. We come because you told us to come. You said in your holy word for us to come boldly to the throne room of grace, that we may be able to obtain help and grace to help in time of need. Thank you, Father. We exalt you in your word and we pray through your word to intercede, to supplicate and to give thanks thanks for all who you are in authority, that Christians, that believers everywhere may lead a quiet and peaceful life in all goodness and all honesty in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for all of our leaders within the nations, whether they are presidents, whether they are prime ministers of every members within Congress, within any Supreme Court, within any structure of hierarchy, within governments. Lord, we pray for the cabinets. We pray for each, Lord, that that is everyone that's in authority, that divine wisdom and grace will be given unto them and direction will be given unto them also. We come against the powers of darkness, the forces of evil that would try to dominate and rule within our nations in the name of Jesus Christ. We rise up against that darkness right now. We rise up against those spirits and dispel the darkness right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We come against the powers of darkness, the forces of evil, the demons of hell that would endeavor to dominate the financial scene of the world and to bring it into a one world government. We, we pray right now that the gospel may be proclaimed within this hour in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus, we overthrow all transaction contrary to our breakthrough. Every power jamming answers to our prayers disappear right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every form of witchcraft, you will no longer have any power over our lives, but you're rendered powerless this day in the name of Jesus Christ. Through by the blood of Jesus, we shake down the seats of darkness in the heavens right now in the name of Jesus. We reject the power of satanic human government over our finances in the name of Jesus Christ. Those that have been used, have been used the power of those things against us 
We decree and halt your power over our lives today in the name of Jesus. We turn the table against every sorcerer in the place of our employment, business or work. No witch or wizard will prosper in the place of our employment, business or work. All satanic power can no longer kidnap our spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. We decree and declare great casualty will now come. Those witches and wizards will either repent or those operating in our neighborhood will see the judgment of God that shall torment the powers of darkness working against us both day and night in the name of Jesus Christ. That night shall carry terror and anger against all satanic powers that are standing against us. We command the storm of destruction together upon every satanic power that is against our health right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, that our prayers have become like an earthquakes and storms and lightnings in the camp of the devil that is against our life right now in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord shall gather his armors against powers that are against our intellectual growth. All sicknesses within our life, known or unknown, receive a heavenly storm right now or conspiracy against any part of our body to receive destruction now in the name of Jesus Christ. We come man the devil and all of his cohorts that's right all of his cohorts to take your hand off of our financial scene of our nations right now in the name of Jesus Christ we come against the powers of darkness the forces of evil that would endeavor to dominate the domestic scenes of our nation we command you Satan and all of your cohorts take your hand off the domestic scene of our nations may there be peace may there be tranquility. May there be understanding from all the coast, from coast to coast of each island, of each nation right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray and declare right now in the name of Jesus, we come against all forces that are wrong. And Father, we pray with understanding. Lord, as best as we know how, Lord, that as you've instructed us, Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, in the name of Jesus. So we thank you, Holy Spirit, that you would come. Help us. You are the helper. You are the counselor. Lord, you are the advocate. You are the intercessor. You are there to stand by in times of need. And we need your help. We trust you, Holy Spirit, to help us to pray in the areas that we do not know. The areas in our weaknesses, in our infirmities. Oh, Holy Spirit, pray on our behalf right now as you intercede on our behalf upon the nations. Heavenly Father, come and touch your people tonight. Lord, Lord, arise and let the enemy enemy be scattered today in the name of Jesus Christ, that every witchcraft power that has our photo or name or any of our possessions on any unholy altar, let it be destroyed by fire tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Every plan of the enemy is going to be exposed in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare today that we will prosper from this day forth because we have learned to pray through. We've applied the blood of Jesus upon our homes. And Lord, that we have a wall of fire around each person today in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you for what you're doing, that you're going to bring an end to the things that are happening. Lord, that what's happening in the spiritual will manifest. So even through our prayers, oh Lord, you will send revival to the nations in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray and believe. Amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Perth, Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this prayer to frustrate the enemy, we encourage you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook or Instagram or TikTok or go to our free website, repentancerevival.com. So from my family to yours, God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you, precious saints. Shalom, shalom, shalom.